Welcome back, SMB peoples, and welcome to our podcast for the first time, if this is your first time. We've done Knock Loose before, so you may be returning. Last time we did it, we talked over like one of probably the best call outs of like 2023. But- I, whoa, whoa, listen, <laughs> listen, okay, I'm a fan, but them just saying their own band name is the best call out, give me a fucking break, <laughs> okay? Loose, it's not the best call out. It was hype yeah. as shit. But just saying your own band name isn't like some thought provoking fucking call out. (laughs) Not that it ever is. It's usually like punch a motherfucker in the face. Boom. I feel like Knock Loose has like a a different fan base. They have a pretty like heavy following that are just Knock Loose fans. Yeah. I mean, they don't don't venture out of that. I think they they actually bring a lot of people who aren't metal fans into their. Yeah, it is strange. This band has crossed some barriers. Yeah. To like reach out to people. I don't know if it's word of mouth, but I remember when they released their first album, this band's always been really good at marketing themselves. Cause I remember seeing advertisements for like their video, uh, counting worms and like the new album that was with it. Um, I remember hearing them when they first came out, I will say the, the riffs and the music have always been awesome the hardcore angry mickey mouse vocals has always turned me off about this band though it did for me at first but i'm getting as i listen to them more and more it's kind of turning on me in a good way for the breakdowns and stuff and the call outs it's definitely a good voice pitch for it yeah i I can see just like the constant you know is what is like i want to hear a little bit more variation across across their music but it's one of those genres of music that's just like it is what it is yeah they don't need to vary that much so i think if they did something like completely off that maybe people wouldn't like it but hey maybe there's a song out there maybe they did like a friggin i don't know like a ballad that i don't know about i can't imagine what that even sound like though yeah yeah let us know if you guys weren't aware this is actually our second time reacting to knocked loose The first time you guys got pretty upset with us because we provided commentary throughout the video that was was admittedly not very funny. So this time we've prepared a video. It'll be down below in the description. If you don't want to hear any of our commentary throughout the video, go down to the description. There will be a link below. Go check that out. You can deal without all our stupid shenanigans as we watch this. (laughs) Anyways, we're going to get into this Knocked Loose, Blinding Faith. And from what I've heard, this song goes pretty fucking hard. So I'm ready for it. I like how it transitions with the riffs. That was a good touch. Oh. transition so far. Yeah, this bit would get fucking violent, dude. Yeah, that's good. yeah, I was just thinking the same thing.
Hell yeah. I really think Knock Loose can save some money by just putting scenes from Blair Witch Project between them playing instruments. I'm assuming the dude, whoever did this video, probably did Everything is Quiet and Deep in the Willow. And they seem to be going for an obvious like cult-like theme. Whatever story they're telling within these videos, I'm sure is going to bleed into like their next album. Whatever that may be. Yeah, that was good, dude. Actually, I see what you're saying, dude. The vocals are growing on me. A yeah. little bit. So I'll give them that. It's just fucking hardcore, dude. It's hardcore metalcore, dude, that we've come to love. It's fucking heavy. I imagine the pits are insane. Actually, you know what was crazy? Because we saw them at uh So What Festival, and I was expecting Hatebreed to have like this huge like crowd, 40-year-old hardcore dudes just like smashing beer bottles and shit. But the biggest crowd was for Knocked Loose by far, and it did look pretty nuts yeah. in the crowd yeah we kind of watched that we were so tired out from being in a fucking 120 degree fucking festival yeah, that outdoors that we were done by the time it knocked loose came on hot take dude i'm just over fucking festivals i think festivals yeah, are ass dude i don't like 30 minute sets rush sets yeah you know they don't get time time for like the sound guys to really set them up good the whole thing is just like it's it's just getting a as many names as you can onto a friggin flyer so people yeah. will come. it just it, it it just doesn't feel right to me i'd rather see three four bands tops you yeah know what i mean and I call it a fucking night one. yeah like i'll get punched up a few times dude go home sleep it off i'm not trying to be out all fucking day for a festival it just doesn't yeah. sound like fun i would like to see these guys although i i can't imagine they're playing very small venues now yeah at this point they've got a pretty big following dude could you imagine these guys probably started out in a basement somewhere yeah with kids just like throwing random objects at each other (laughs) from the house definitely remember guys if you've made it this far obviously you didn't mind our commentary but (laughs) i still urge you to go check out the video below see if that's more your style and maybe we'll continue doing that anyways we're off to the next one later hey guys if you want to see some more of our reactions and discover some new bands be sure to click the card on the left if you want to check out our long form metal podcast be sure to click the card on the right and as always thanks for watching